Akina Mutu, Tunde, Tubali Tie, 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 Tubali Yesu <laughs> Shangwe na videlegele kwa bwana Yesu haleluya Haleluya the Lord is greatly to be praised this morning tunataka kumwambia bwana that he is so great and that is why we are going to sing to him this morning let our voices rise up to the Lord lift your hands and tell the Lord that you are great oh God you are great this morning in all your ways, O oh God, you are great. In all your doings, you are great. And everything written about you, Lord, it's all great, O oh God. We praise your name, O oh God. We exalt you, Lord. Tunakuwa budu wa subu ya leo buwana. Nafsi zetu ziku imbie buwana. Chinsi wewe ulivyo mbuwana. Oh, how great you are, O oh God. How great you are, Lord.
that you are great this morning. We sing of your greatness, Lord. We sing of your power, Lord. We sing of your might, Lord. We sing of your faithfulness, oh God. We sing of your love. Oh, there is no one that can compare with you, Jesus. You are our deliverer, Lord. You are our savior. You are our helper, oh God. So we lift, look our eyes unto you, Lord. We lift our eyes unto you, Lord. Our song shall be of you, Lord Jesus. Our song shall be of you, Lord. For you are great. You are great, oh God. And there is nothing that can hinder you, Lord. There is nothing that is impossible with you, Lord. Let all that rejoice in the saving and salvation of the Lord declare this morning that the Lord is great, that the Lord is great. Lord, we declare that you are great, O oh God. Of our lives, you are great. Of our finances, you are great. Of our minds, you are great. Oh, oh. we declare of your power, Jesus. You are greater than the greatest, Lord. You are higher than the highest. Oh, you are wiser than the wisest, Lord. We adore you this morning, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. You are the most. 
most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. You are the most high God. You are the most high. The most
life to him this morning. Lord, we entrust our lives unto you, Lord. You who is dependable, Lord. You who is reliable, Lord God. You did it before, Lord. And you are doing it again, oh God. Even now you are moving. Even now you are moving. Even now you are able. You are able. You are able, oh God. Unaweza hata sasa, Bwana. Hakuna linalo kushinda. Wewe ni mwenye mungu, Bwana. kwa sababu ya fadhili zako bwana tunaimba juu ya wokovu wako bwana nazidi kutangaza sifa zako bwana sifa zako ziwe kinywani mwetu bwana hatuna mwingine wa kutegemea bwana ni wewe mwamba wetu ni wewe wokovu wetu ni wewe mlinzi wetu ni wewe msaidizi wetu ni wewe rafiki mwema bwana you are a very present help in the times of need. Oh Jesus, we call on your name. We call on your name, the name that is above every other name.
plead with you, Jesus. Because there is nothing that you cannot do. We are here with the sacrifice of worship. Because there is nothing that you cannot do. Father, we give all the glory. Father, we lift up our hands before you, oh God. Oh, as we declare, there is nothing that you cannot do. All things are possible to you, Jesus. You are able. We call you Yahweh. We call you Amber Father. We call you Yahweh. You are highly lifted. We worship you, Jesus. sharing or the, the heading of my message is something I'm calling your destiny help us your destiny help us in this year as we as we thresh mountains you may not do some things alone kuna mambo utafanya peke yako amen unahitaji watu wengine your destiny help us as you thresh you are mountains. Hallelujah. Yeah, to the earliest I can remember when you were being taught how to plow with oxen. You know, There is no way you can do that work alone. True or false? You cannot do that alone. You cannot do that alone. Amen. Hallelujah. You cannot do it alone. We need help us. That is the reason for this message. And our theme this year, as we know, let's, let's move, let's move, let's move, is the year of threshing mountains. And our key verse is Isaiah 41 and verse 15. And the theme is right, uh, right behind us. We know that. Amen. Hallelujah. Even a tractor operator, you lamba and operate your tractor, Anaweza fanya peke yake lakini anahitaji mtu wa kuchorea songa nyuma amen e pita hapa anawekewa pegs ili ajue utakata wapi amen you cannot do it alone remember you cannot do it alone we need help us hallelujah we need what help us is that for 21 and verse 15 the scriptures the bible says see i will make you into a threshing Sledge, new and sharp. Can we read that together? I'll make you into a threshing sledge. With many teeth, you will thresh the mountains and crush them and reduce the hills to chaff. Hallelujah. And as I'm reading this, I get new revelations all the time. Amen. You know, many teeth. If you go to a dentist, you can't go to a man or a dentist. Even the dentist never, never works alone. Amen. They need a helper. Hallelujah. And if you have a man, you have a man, something else in a sack, you match. Amen. Hallelujah. We need what? Help us. So for the, your teeth. Amen. To be new and sharp, you need what? Help us. Don't do it alone. And the last time, that's when I introduced the theme, and I say the Lord will make us into threshing sledges. Amen. Now, that's an old instrument. It may not be in use today. We saw some pictures. Sometimes they may try to use it, you know, in the Middle East and such areas. But they are not common items today. You know, mountains, you know, grains, you may not use this. 
there are modern equipment that can do it faster. Amen. But you also know, you know, many times, you know, those who are older in life, they tell us, old is gold. Amen. Old is gold. You know, somebody told, somebody told us. And then last Sunday, just as a way of recap, uh, the, the topic of, uh, that was shared was being at God's right hand. And we saw at the right hand of God is a place of honor, isn't it? It's a place of empowerment or empowering. A place of provision. That was the topic that was shared last Sunday. But I will add a caution to this. Amen. I will add a what? A caution. Kuna taadari maali pale ni sawa. You may remember an episode in Mark 10, uh, Mark chapter 10. Yesu, na wanafunzi wake, you know, disciples come to John. And then the mother is making a request. Na nambia, nambia Yesu, I want a, a request of my sons. Amen? One to sit on your right, and the other on your left. Amen? Na kawauliza, can you be, can you drink the cup that I am about to drink? I say, we can. <laughs> Okay, and that's why some of them were actually crucified later on. Amen? Because they asked, are we together? I'm saying again, be careful what you ask. Amen? Be careful what you do what? What you ask. Hallelujah. You may remember a time I was sharing a message. You know, the song we sing, Niguze Tena. You remember that song we sing? And then Jacob, ask Jacob, wait, wait. Usiombe ombi kama hiyo sindio. Alipoambia Yesu ayino Mungu amuguze, he was he had to limp from that point onwards in his life. Amen. Be careful what you ask. Amen. So Yesu anaambia hao wanafunzi wake, to sit at my right or left is not for me to grant. Those places belong to those for whom they are being prepared. Amen. But I know we understand. You know we want to be closer to the Lord. I believe we understand. Are we together? The best place to sit, let me ask, let me, let me encourage you. The blessed, best place to sit is not at the right hand of God, but at the feet of Jesus. Amen? Are we getting the point? The best place to sit, Niwapi, at the feet of Jesus to be taught. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It other words, a place of learning, the place of hearing. Amen. Yes, let's desire to be close to the law, but more so, let us desire where? To sit at the feet of Jesus. Let's go to today's topic then. This will help us as we thresh our mountain. That is the topic we are sharing today. And this helper is one who will help you to come up the mountain. Hallelujah. Who is the lad? Okay, Joey, uh, Joey uh, my brother, come. Alvin wants to come up here, but his week could happen. He wants to come up the mountain. Amen? So he needs a helper. So I'm this helper. So I take his hand and I say, please come. Joe, hallelujah. Be a destiny helper. Amen. Have we got in the point? One will help you. To come up. Amen. It's for 21 and verse 14. The Bible says, fear not. You warm Jacob and you men of Israel. Amen. I am the one who helps you. The Lord is our helper. Amen. I am the one who helps you, declares the Lord. The Redeemer is the only one of Israel. Amen. It is the Lord who helps us. I know in life, sometimes you know, in our country, you know, in our country, you know, but let me tell you, sometimes let us cry to the one who is closer than a brother. Amen. Are we getting the points? To nulilie nani anaye to saidi. Amen. I am the one who helps you. Hallelujah. Now this verse in Mother Translation says, uh, the Lord says, good news in December, small and weak as you are, Israel, don't be afraid. Tell your neighbor, don't be afraid. 
Don't be afraid. Do not fear. Every time in the scripture, God appeared to men. Amen. He all, the first word was always, don't be afraid. Do not fear. Ata Yesu alipozaliwa, the Bible says angels appear to the shepherds in the fields at night. Of course, ni usiku ni sawa. So how, wameanza, you know, kondo wanajua zote zimelala, sasa wanaenda kulala. Alafu suddenly, the heavens open. Malaika wanatoka mbinguni. Hey, of course, they had to be afraid. The Bible says they were afraid. But the angels told them, fear not. Do not be afraid. Why? I bring you good news. Today, in the town of, of David, a savior is born. Amen. Alafa kawambia, this is how you will identify. Mukienda uko, utampata mtoto, amelala, ino ina menja. Nisawa? Amen. Fear not. Small and weak as you are, don't be afraid. Why? I will help you. Amen. I, the Holy One of Israel, am the one who saves you. Another version, King James. Fear not, thou warm Jacob. Now, warm. Kigunyo. Nisawa? Eh? Yoni luga ingine nisawa? Eh? Wengine wanasemaje? A warm. Niatoji kwa njuga zingine? Tunajua tu hiyo. Hakuna ingine. Haina majina ingine? Kagunyo? Ingine? Okay. But you know a warm. You know something, the, the Bible, uh, not the Bible, uh, there is a saying that says the early bird catches the worm. Now, a worm is that which can be caught by a bird. It is something small, are we together? Sometimes in the eyes of God, in the we know we are like worms. Amen? We are like what? Worms. But small as we are, the Bible says, I will help you. Thou worm, Jacob. Ye men of Israel, I'll help thee, says the Lord, and thy redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Another version, MKJV, modern King James. Do not fear, warm, warm of Jacob and men of Israel. I will help you, says Jehovah, your redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. He is the Lord who will help us. Amen. Another translation. Now, this one has some, uh, another version, Nature Tears 2009. Do not fear, you warm Yakub. <laughs> Amen. You warm Yakub. You men of Israel. I will shall help you. Declares at Aina Jinapo. But this declares the Lord. You are a redeemer. The set, up, the set apart one of Israel. That is our God. Amen. That is our God. And we will not be afraid. Amen. Our help comes from the Lord. Psalm 121 the Bible says, I lift up my eyes to the hills to the mountains. Where does my help come from? And then the psalmist my help comes from the Lord. Amen. My help will come where? From the Lord. Psalm 20 and verse 7 the Bible says, some trust in chariots some trust in horses. Amen. Ili waweze kuenda vita, unasema, we have chariots, we have horses, but we shall trust in the name of the Lord. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the way we are going we the righteous run to it and they are safe. Amen. The righteous run to the rock. And they are saved. The Lord is our helper. Amen. But I'm also adding, he may use people. Amen. That's what we're talking about. Who? Destiny. Help us. Hallelujah. The Lord is our helper. But he can use people. Now, let me also say this. It is not you to choose who the helper will be. Let the Lord be the one who chooses. Amen. Maybe you have heard people who say, you know, my brother, my uncle is a big man. And here I am suffering. Amen. Unless the Lord, you know, lifts him and makes him your helper. Hata kusaidia ni sawa. Wewe, siyo mutazame uncle, I'm a brother. Amen. Let's look to the Lord. Amen. 
As we seek destiny help us, we cry to God, it is him to lift up who? Help us. Amen. I'm also saying, God has a destiny for each of us. Wewe na mimi, tukuna hatima, tukuna kesho yetu. Amen. Ambaye kukatika mipango ya kemungu. The Bible says, I know the plans I have for you. What kind of plans? Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. I know the plans. God knows the plans. Amen. Tell your neighbor, it is God who has the plans. Amen. It is God who has the plans. He knows the plans he has for us. Amen. Dawudi alisema, Psalm 139 and verse 16, All the days ordained for me, they were written in your book. You know, God has a big diary in heaven. Amen. And your name is there. Amen. Hallelujah. Your name where? Is there. Actually, see your diary. I have inscribed your name on the palms of my hands. In other words, you are so close to the heart of God. Amen. He knows the plans he has for you. Amen. Those days were ordained. Ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Psalm 139 verse 16. The destiny of the Israelites was revealed to Abraham even before Isaac was born. Now, this is a time Mungu alifanya a covenant na Abraham. Alafu uh, anamambiaji Genesis 15 and verse 13. Let's read that scripture. Genesis 15 and verse 13. Uh, Genesis 15 and verse 13. It's on the screen there, but let's just read together. Genesis 15 and verse 13. This is a period when God, the time when God called Abraham and he, and he was making a covenant with him. And he told him, Genesis 15 and verse 13, that is the scripture we have there. Okay, as the sun was setting from verse 12, Abraham fell into a deep sleep. Genesis 15, I'm reading from verse 12. Are we there? Okay, thank you. A thick and dreadful darkness came over him. Then the Lord said to him, Know for certain, amen, that you are, uh, that your descendants, your children, will be strangers in a country or a land, not their own, and they will be enslaved and, and, and ill-treated 400 years. 14. But I will punish the nation they serve as slaves. And afterwards, they will come out with great possessions. Amen. Now, Mungu anaongea na Abraham is cutting a covenant. You're making a covenant with him. Alafu anamuambia, I already see your descendants in a land not their own. Now, that time, Abraham, ata ana, uh, watch, watch, watch an eighth, ana a sixteenth of an acre in Canaan. Are we together? Amen? He didn't have anything. I mean, the, the, the earliest, I mean, the, the least Abraham bought or the minimum shamba by Abraham and Lenua was a barrio cave for us, for Sarah. See you? And I have to say, your descendants will be enslaved in a land not their own for how many years? 400 years. Now, that time, he doesn't even have one. Amen? Tell your neighbor, God sees far ahead. Hallelujah. That's why we are talking about destiny. What? Help us. Amen. They will be in a land not their own for 400 years. Mungu anaona hiyo. Ata kabula. Isaac ajazaliwa. Ndiyo ampate nani? Jacob. Ndiyo Jacob apate the 12 sons. Ndiyo wae kuja kuenda misri. You know many years later. Amen. But Abraham already alikuwa napata uofunio. Amen. So this is just an illustration. Are we, can, we, can we go to that? It's like 20, 20, 20, 20. So, okay. So God is already seeing this image. Wait, wait. Go back. All right. Mungu tayari anaona one of Abraham in Egypt. Amen. Before even one of them is born. Hallelujah. My God sees the future. Your God sees your future. Amen. Mtoto wa Mungu Mungu wako anajua mtoto wako ataenda shule gani wakati gani hata anajua jina ya class teacher wa mathematics 
na hata wakati huo wa siku hiyo haitakuwa inaitwa mathemata haitakuwa inaitwa jambo lingine ni sawa are we together because if god could see this and then he revealing to his servants anaona wa egyptian akichukua nini whip wanasema fanya haraka tengeneza bricks haraka haraka ni sawa amen are we together are we saying something this is our god he sees the end from the beginning amen there is a destiny for you but god has placed helpers on the path to your destiny amen now let me also say some of your helpers are not so obvious amen some of those who will help you reach your destiny are not very obvious wengine utawapita hata utawadharau amen amen have you gotten lost somewhere na kuna mtu ulipita labda ukarushia maji lakini baadaye unakumbuka by the way sijui naenda wapi alafu unarudi nyuma pole brother lakini si nje inaelekea wapi some helpers are not very obvious amen and you may pass them labda uwajui labda uwajui ni waina gani amen they are not very obvious a gate man mtu anakaa kwa gate can be a helper amen but what we do we despise them amen we despise them sales people watu wanafanya kazi ya sales wanajua nisipofanya you know amani na na, 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 na jamaa kwa gate i may not see the boss kwa sababu gani kama kuna mtu anajua kile kinaendelea hapo ndani ni yule akwa gate ni kweli si kweli ndiye atakwambia leo thubutu jamaa akuja vizuri anafuruga kila mtu leo usije kekuja kesho ama kesho kutwa ni sawa amekusaidia amen a gate keeper amen maybe a destiny helper amen do not despise those god places amen in your path on the path to your destiny hallelujah there's an example in the scriptures mordecai he was not a watchman but the bible says he sat at the king's gate na alikuwa anajua kile ambacho kinaendelea mjini amemsaidia esther he was mordecai was a helper ili esther awe malkia ni sawa amen he was a connector you know destiny helpers are also called destiny connectors in other in other teaching sawa sawa but mordecai knew what was happening alikuwa anajua kile kinaendelea you know one time you may remember kulikuwa na njama ya kuua mfalme na mordecai akasikia hiyo habari na akaiweka lakini akamwambia nani esther na ikaandikwa mahali lakini ikanyamaziwa tu namna hiyo walipojugunduche fanya uchunguzi these two guys were arrested and they were killed of course wachufalme wakati huo hawakuwa wanacheza na watu ni sawa ukitaka kuniua kabla hujaniua wacha nikumalize kwanza si ndio that's what they would do so mordecai alikuwa anakaa kwa gate he knew what was happening around town i'm saying some some helpers are not so obvious amen mordecai ndiye alimwezesha esther afikie hatima yake kama nani a queen kama the queen in a foreign land esther chapter 2 verse 5 to 11 but then god would later use esther as a destiny helper for the jews so you can be a destiny helper as much as you need other people to be your helpers are we getting the point be a helper even as you seek god who my helpers nani atanisaidia kufika mahali bwana mkusudia niweze kufika amen so the question is who is the destiny helper nani atatusaidia kufika mahali tunaenda who is the destiny helper it is one whom god uses to help you reach your destiny amen one whom god will use to help you reach your destiny Let me also say one whom God uses to support your ability. Amen. And give you an opportunity to use it. Amen. Could be your teacher, could be your mentor, you know somebody ambaye Mungu ambaye Mungu anamsaidia kujua fulani naona kama ana uwezo. Kuna kitu anaweza akatusaidia hapa. He gives you anaona uwezo wako a coach in a foot chama katika michezo ndiye anajua huyu jamaa anacheza vizuri si ndio Aki, 
tua trained vizuri bala kupiga ball inaenda kando inaweza ikaelekea vizuri si ndio amen at this nepa can be a coach in your life fero is an example he was a, he was a, he was a, he, you know he, he is an example aliuliza joseph wakati moja he, has, he said to joseph genesis 41 verse 39 to 41 if you can read that that passage he said to joseph now, now we remember the background joseph is in egypt amen akasingizia mabaya akajikuta ako jela lakini baadaye mungu anamtumia kufafanua kupatia maana you know ya ndoto za farao you know so Pharaoh is saying to Joseph since God has made all this known to you is there no is there there is no one as discerning or as wise as you are see you and i believe you desire to reach that state amen atumeo interview watu wengi lakini unaonekana wewe ndio utafit katika kampuni yetu see ndio ungependa kufika hapo amen Urambuo kuna wengi wamenitambua you know fero alikuwa ameuliza magicians lakini akino angepatia maana ya hiyo ndoto zake ni sawa hadi joseph anaitwa na where is joseph at that time ako jela he is in a dungeon somewhere but he was lifted from there amen hallelujah akamwambia you shall be in charge of my palace and all my people shall submit to your orders he actually said only with respect to the throne Will I be greater than you? So Pharaoh said to Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. Amen. But before this what happened? How did Joseph get to his destiny? The destiny helper was actually a cupbearer in the prison. That's why he said some destiny helpers are not so obvious. Amen. Are we together? some helpers to our destiny are not very obvious what had happened joseph had interpret ndoto ya nani ya huyu ya huyu kabera alafu akamwambia ukienda kwa farao ukirudi kwa farao kwa sababu utarudishiwa kazi yako tafadhali usinisahau amen but the bible says alipopewa kazi yake akasema wa nimepata kazi yangu sasa he forgot about joseph some of your helpers may forget you amen but at the right time the law will wake them up may the lord wake up your destiny helpers amen maybe some are forgotten but may they not continue forgetting you amen hallelujah now let me also say it is not you to wake them up wacha mungu awaamushe at the right time amen because kwa mfano kama kabera angeambia farao kuna jamaa ko jela alitusaidia kuinterpret ndoto eh si umtoe tu kwa jela now that time farao angekuwa ameota si ndio are we getting the point angekuwa ameota na akuwe kuwa na ukame unakuja two years had to pass ili mungu ampatie farao nini ndoto kwa sababu ukame ulikuwa unaanza next year si ndio so some destiny helpers only wake up at the right time amen may yours wake up at the right time hallelujah Usijaribu kuharakisha destiny yako ni sawa. Amen. It is saying some shortcuts sometimes are not so short. Amen. Hallelujah. Some shortcuts are not what? Are not so short. Amen. Wacha Mungu wacha wakati wake wa, wakati wa Mungu ufanye nini? Ufike. Amen. Someone the best. So at the right time. For, you know the cup bearer says to Pharaoh, today I am reminded of my shortcomings Genesis 41 and verse 9 this is the period when sasa farao ameota ndoto yake ndio sasa anaanza kusumbuka alafu you this the cup bearer is very close to the king yeye anajua kile kinaendelea si ndio amen so anakumbuka anaambia farao wa leo ndio nimekumbuka makosa yangu and what is the issue nini nini nakusumbua now tulikuwa jela wakati moja na tukiwa katika hiyo jela mimi na the you know the chief baker tukawa na ndoto na tukaambia you know a young hebrew man who was in the prison with us you know akatupatia maana ya ndoto zetu na ikatimia vile amen i vile tu alituambia 40 verse 12 what did he say now a young hebrew was there a servant of the captain of the guard 
We told him our dreams. He interpreted them for us, giving each man the interpretation of his dream. Amen? Then what does he say? Now, call Joseph. At the right time, your destiny helpers will wake up. They will say the right word. Amen. To your, so that your destiny is fulfilled. Farao kopale, na unona nasumbuka sindiyo? Na kwa sababu the ichino kabera kwa karibu na ye, ndiyo anakuwa na that conversation with him. Amen. Let's proceed. What happened? The Kabera recommended Joseph to Pharaoh. And then what happened? Joseph is lifted from prison to his destiny. And he became second in command to Pharaoh. Amen. Hallelujah. And this is a point when Pharaoh, you know, Pharaoh is telling Joseph, I hereby put you in charge of the whole land of Egypt. May your destiny help us spot you. Amen. May they spot your talent. Wajue wezo wako na wako connect na hatima yako. Hallelujah. I started by saying, if we want to thresh our mountains, we will not do it alone. We need people to help you to thresh that mountain. We are not called to do it alone. Examples, other examples of destiny help us. What are examples of our day-to-day Destiny help us. Our parents. Our parents are, you know, are the first line of destiny help us. What do they do? They bring us up. They care for us. Even when we are helpless. That's why, you know, we cannot despise our parents. You know, it all doesn't look well with them. Let's remember, God used them to bring you to this world. Are we together? Are we together? Amen. Your teachers, another line of head destiny helpers. From what our were, you know, in it was ECD. I don't know where that word comes from. In it was check it. Check a chair. Oh, in Musonia, check a chair. Okay. While our ECD, even our Sunday school teachers, the teachers who are here, you are destined helpers. To these children. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. They help us. They help to shape our young minds. Our, you know, the young minds. Our, you know, when they don't know anything. Amen. You know, we have been using to make you know, the book of uh, uh, Hebrews. In that chapter, we are talking about a name called. Okay. <laughs> the name is. <laughs> They simply could not want to aliruka their teachers. Because what do they do? They help shape our pronunciation. The name again? Melchizedek. I don't know what happened. Amen. The teachers help us. They shape us. Amen. When I say, they could pronounce my name of From the time we know nothing, until the time we are told, we are now given power to read. As though we have not been reading all this time. So, amen. Teachers are an example of destiny. Help us. Are we together? You know, from the time of Rambua, you know, unambiwa, you know, kamuti hivi, alafu zungusha, yo inaitua B. From the time we are told that, I sasa upewe nini power to read. Amen. They are destiny helpers. And those are many. You know, you have many teachers in your life. Amen. Another example of uh, destiny helpers is your employer or your boss is a destiny helper. Amen. The Vadali Musi Atakama Mekasikana Bosiako are my employer wako. You always remember they are helpers to your destiny. Someone told us. An employer gives you an opportunity to do what? To learn and also to earn. Amen. Someone said, work. Don't work for money. Work to learn. Are we together? Don't work for what? Money should be a by the way. The most important thing is that you are learning. The lessons you carry, you know, from your employer. Mahali unafanya kazi. Mahali umeajiriwa. Na tafadhali, maali umeajiriwa, 
Wacha kuita kazi yako kibarua. Amen. Are we getting something? Mali unafanya kazi tafadhali leo. Acha kuita hapo nafanya kibarua mali fulani kwa sababu gani kibarua ni kazi tutafanya tu juu juu si ndio? Amen. The Bible says whatever you do work at it with all your heart as though you are serving the Lord. Amen. Are we getting something? Amen. Is an opportunity to do what? To learn and therefore to earn. Hata kama itoshi. The Bible says we give thanks in all situations. Amen. Not for all situations. Amen. Thank God in all situations. Amen. Then somebody also told us, you know, while you are working and while you are earning, amen, work is an opportunity to learn and also to deploy or to use or sharpen your skills. We are talking about I'm giving you a what? A thre- I'll make you a what? A threshing sledge. With what? With teeth which are new and sharp. A destiny helper is one of the instruments Mungu anatumia to sharpen your teeth. Amen. We talk about teeth. It may not be your men or see necessarily men or skills. Are we getting something? And your skills need to be sharpened. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Are we together? I will make you a threshing sledge with what? New and sharp teeth. Now those teeth are sharpened. You know, in a, either in a place of work or even an opportunity of fanyam to kazi is an opportunity to learn and to sharpen that skill. Amen. And example ya mtu ambaye anajifundisha na anaendelea kujifundisha ile kazi alikuwa anafanya last year na leo there must be a difference kumaanisha the skills or the teeth are being sharpened. Are we getting something? Are we getting something? Amen. Take my yoke. Jesus said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am humble and gentle of heart. Jesus is our big brother. We see sisi ndio tunajifundisha. Last week nafikiri tuliambiwa, you know, ngombe wa wili anapofungwa hiyo nira, yule ataki kulima na ajaribu kuhepa, anaumia shingo. Si tuliambiwa hivyo? Amen. Tena naomba usikimbie. Kaa pale. Wewe ndio ngombe mfupi, si ndio? Amen. Hallelujah. Ambia mwingine ule labda huyu akusikia mwambie wewe ndio ngombe mdogo, si ndio? Are we getting something? Are we getting something? We are here to learn. Amen. We are at the feet of Jesus to do what? To learn. Wewe na mimi hatujui kulima, tusipofunganishwa na Yesu ili atufundishe. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how we sharpen ourselves. We sharpen our skills. Amen. Let me also say if you are employed, you are you're earning something. Use your wages or your salary as seed capital for something, you know, for your destiny, a greater destiny. Amen. Because there is life beyond that place of work. Hallelujah. Amen. There is life outside there. Someone told us this, you know, kula isi mandiko ni somebody who say this. Kula nusu, weka nusu. Nusu ni wakati auta kuwa mahali pakazi. Tuko pamoja. Amen. Are we getting something? Kula nusu, weka nusu. Ambia jirani yako kula nusu. Lakini nusu fanya nini? Weka kando. Kwa sababu itakusaidia. Amen. The Bible says he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food. What will he do? He will also supply and increase your store of seeds and enlarge the harvest of your Righteousness. I've said this and I'll repeat. I've said this before and I'll repeat. Not everything God gives you is food. Some of it is what? Seed. And to the best of my knowledge, seed is not for eating. Seed is for planting. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why in our modern days, you know, today modern seed is actually poisoned. Amen. Amen. Ukijaribu kukula hata unajua hii siwezi na yao ni sawa. I've told you this example before, you know, when we were young, you know, we were brought up by our grandparents. 
na hao wakivua aki harvest the mahindi you know they would take the best ile mrefu kabisa ile imenona you know like this season you know there's a lot of food in the country sio so naenda wanavuna alafu ile mahindi mrefu ile iko na mbegu nono kabisa wanachukua mbili tatu zinaekwa at the top of the hut you know ile wakipika na makaa sio makaa wanakipika na kuni ile moshi inaenda pale number one inaikausha number two inaiweka poison amen amen hapo ni mahali hata hata wivu ya ina gani iweze fika hata ikula iwezi amen haleluya i'm saying not everything god gives you is food some of it is what seed and the seed is for plant amen that's what i'm saying was you are given an opportunity to earn remember out of all this you have given me what is seed na please ingine pia tunapanda katika ufalme wa Bwana amen because this is a place where you know the kingdom of god is a place where moth and rust do not destroy amen please remember that hallelujah friends we are talking about destiny helpers examples we have said the first example are parents wengine ni nani teachers wengine ni nani employers or bosses ni sawa now another example are friends friends can be destiny helpers a friend can share an idea and a business is born from that day sawa some companies are started you know, we read of major companies i was doing some research as i was preparing you know if you think about a company like uh, facebook that is the one i i picked up you know they said to start in 2004 this is a story from the internet sawa that zuka back the you know the, the the founder began writing a code now wale wana watu kina kina professor ndo wanajua hii a code for a new website known as the facebook <laughs> in their university with inspiration coming from an editorial in the crimson it was a magazine in their college about face mash saying it is clear that the technology needed to create a centralized website is readily available and therefore facebook was born ideas from a friend amen okay he said aku anza peke yake ya somebody else uh, if you read about google to read about uh, microsoft and all those you know read stories of these big companies they started you know from very humble beginnings this hour amen now another example of uh, destiny helpers are spiritual authorities it could be your pastors your bishops your or even a speaker you know a visiting speaker and a sema tu neno and it transforms your life amen amen spiritual authorities are destiny helpers an example of destiny helpers so so they will be destiny helpers number one, only if we submit to their authority amen our bishop says this you cannot benefit from an anointing you don't respect amen amen you cannot do what benefit from an anointing you don't honor or you don't respect sawa because you'll just take it casually but someone whom this authority you have said i am submitting to that authority kuna neno tatamka kukuso and it will change your life amen hallelujah hallelujah learn to do that learn to do that amen The Bible says the Hebrews 13 and verse 7 have confidence in your leaders submit to their authority why they keep watch over you as those who must give an account do this so that their work will be a joy and not a burden for that will be of no benefit to you amen fanya kazi ya kiongozi wako either ni kiongozi wa 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 worship team kiongozi wa home church kiongozi wa wana youth amen you know is an overseer at that moment that is an authority at that time amen amen and also when you are given an opportunity to do something please do it heartily as unto the lord you know we are in a barrio somewhere and uh, you know as a as, as sister a friend of ours anapewa nafasi aombe chakula sasa yeye anajidharau ai mimi nitaombea chakula kwa hiyo mate kubwa Pana, you can do it because the first time wake ndio amemwambia afanye nini aombe chakula maybe it is the first time kuomba kwa umati are we getting the point amen 
when you are given opportunity, jump at it. Amen. And say it's a privilege. You know, serving God's people for me, and we say it is a privilege. Kuja kutuimbisha hapa wa imbaji wetu, it's a privilege. Amen. It's an opportunity to sharpen your teeth to thresh your mountain. Are we together? Amen. If you are given an opportunity to fellowship kianza, take that opportunity and let the Lord uh, be glorified in it. Amen. Paul was Paul's destiny, I mean, uh, sorry, Barnabas was Paul's destiny helper. How do we know? Acts 11 and verse 25. Barnabas, the alien kumtafuta, you know, Saul, wakati wa alikuwa anaita Saul. He went to Tarsus na kamtafuta uh, Saul. He introduced him to the elders or to the leaders. Na kasema huu jamaa mbatieni na fasi. Na wana kama kuna kitu ndani yake ni sawa. He was his helper to his destiny. I said earlier on that some destiny helpers are not very obvious. That may be others are not. Identify your destiny helpers and walk with them or work with them. Amen. The Barnabas went to Saul to look for him. Uh, 26. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. And for a whole year, they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch, the disciples were first called Christians. Because of Abugani, Barnabas, alitumiwa na mungu kuwa a helper. Kwa nani? Kwa Paul at that time. Hallelujah. Amen. So it's an encouragement. Think of your destiny helper as one who helps you. To come up higher. Amen. And that's why, you know, we are told the name of uh, Barnabas, the meaning was he was a son of encouragement. Amen. Paul was Timothy's destiny helper. Ali is one who mentored him. Nata kamwita. Mwanawe. You know what time I told you, I have no one like him. Wakiwa jela, akopamoja na e. Wakiwa katika, you know, all kinds of hardships. Timothy was always with him. Amen. Other examples, we may not go through all of them, but there are many examples in scriptures. Elijah, we know he was the helper. Kwa destiny ya nani? Ya Elisha. Amen. Alitumika na mungu, lakini remember the connection to our kwa mungu, sindi? It is God who told Elijah, go and anoint Elisha, the son of Shepherd, to be a prophet after you. Amen. Hallelujah. Joshua. Moses. Amen. Are we getting the point? Amen. There are destiny helpers that we read in the scriptures, and I'm saying in the same way, katika Maisha yetu. Sawa, sawa. Why do we need destiny helpers? And I'm, I'm winding up. Number one, we are not called to walk alone. Amen. Mungu wa You are called to walk with others. We are called to encourage one another. And the Bible says, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Hebrews, uh, I believe Hebrews said, let's get this, Hebrews 10, 25. The Bible says, let us consider how we may spar one another. 51, let's go, 51. How we may spar one another on towards love and good deeds. Not giving up the meeting. Up the meeting together of the brethren, as some are in the habit of doing. But what are we to do? Encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. The point there is, we are not called to walk alone. That's why we need destiny helpers. As I was saying, you need helpers, but you are also a helper yourself. Amen. Just look around. Look at your neighbor. and be any helper. Kwa destiny ya mwingine, sindio? Ya, yeah, muambia hata kama ni mtoto. Muambia we ni helper. You know, why are children? You know, one time we were going to, we were visiting a family, uh, you know, in Kawa West. Tumepewa pin. And you know, now, kifuata pin. Kuna hile itakupeleka mpaka kwa gate. Lakini kuna pin ita kuzugusha, sindio? So we were to go na zuguka, lakini kuna katoto tukakauliza. Unajua fulani? Eh, hey, hata ninatoka huko. Tuka mfuata mtoto mdogo mpaka kwa gate. Mahali tuko na hena, nisawa? A destiny helper. Did you look at a destiny helper near you? Mwambie wewe ni destiny helper. Kwa hivyo saidia mwingine. Amen. 
Amen. If you have knowledge, share with another. Amen. We are helped to help others. We are blessed to be a blessing to others. Mungu alimwambia Abraham, in blessing I will bless you and I'll make you a blessing. Through you, nations will be blessed through you. Amen. And I see some Abrahams around. Amen. Where well, other people will be blessed through you. Labda ujuni kwa njia gani? As a minimum, you can pray. Amen. Amen. The Bible says, whatever you have learned, entrust unto others. Amen. Second Timothy 2.2. 2, and the things you have heard me say in the presence of many witnesses. What are you to do? Entrust reliable people who will also be qualified to teach others. Be a destiny helper to another. The Bible says, Proverbs 11, verse 25, a generous person will prosper and whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Amen? Refresh others and you will be refreshed. Amen? Be a refresher to others. That is how you help people. Amen? Yes, well, as a minimum, but here, mutu anini, a cup of cold water. Ukipeana hiyo, umetimiza maandiko. Nisawa? Amen? As a minimum, give what? A cup of cold water. There is a reward for you. Refresh others. Uisha wengine. Na awe, utawishwa. Amen? Amen? As you have been helped, be a destiny helper as well. As you are lifted up, lift others as well. Mungu anapu kuinua, inua wengine. Amen? Amen? Mungu anapu kuinua faya nini? Inua wale wengine. As you are encouraged, encourage others. Amen? But I will qualify this and say, you are your best. You are your first encourager. The Bible says, David, do you know the example? You know, we'll end up, you know, we'll end up with a vita, we'll end up with a vita, Jamii yao imetekwa yote si ndio? Alafu wakalia baka machozi ikaisha. Nafikiri wanaume inaishanga haraka ni sawa? Wakalia machozi ikaisha yote. And then now the men wakasema actually aliyesababisha hii mambo yote ni David. Now they forgot David was their destiny helper. Na sasa wanataka kumpiga mawe si ndio? So now David aka realize sasa hapa sina wakunisaidia. The Bible says but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Amen. As you are called to encourage others, encourage, you know, you, as you are encouraged, encourage others. But you are your first word, encourage, encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. First Peter 4.10, the Bible says, each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others. Amen. As faithful stewards, of God's grace in its various forms. First Peter 4 and verse 10. Use whatever gift you have. Whatever gift God has given you, use it. Be a blessing unto others. Amen. 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 Destiny help us towards, as we thresh want, our mountains. You have a destiny as we finish. Identify you are destiny helpers. Wale umedharau. Labda mwako ukipita, ukiwa pita, na ukisema hawa, you know, sujuka mwana, namika na mungu kwa jia gani. Amen. Don't despise those God places in your path. Amen. Kwa sababu wa ujui mwisho wako ni wapi, only the Lord has a destiny for us. Let's arise as we ask the Lord to help us. Let's tusimame zote, tusimame. Let's arise as we, as we just call upon the name of the Lord. As you have heard this, perhaps in your life, you know, you have had people who helped you, but you actually forgot about.